Donegal. Time to continue our preview of the 2020 Donegal Senior Football Championship final, the deferred, the delayed final. Let's get the, the thoughts now of the man in charge of the, the townie men. That's Kill Car boss, John McNulty. John, it's good to see you. Good to talk to you. Hi, mm, Oshin. How are you? Uh, I take it you're in Tony and not San Francisco by the looks of things in your in your, in your background there on your Zoom call. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm in Tony all right. Um, I would like to be in San Francisco sometimes. It's a long time since we're able to get away. Uh, so I, I just put that up there in mind of happier times. Yeah, well, listen, um, despite not being able to get away on holidays, there's been a lot of time to focus on a, a county final. 11 months, John, what's it been like between the day that it was was called off and now here we are just days out from, from when the final's going to be played, 11 months on? Yeah, the day that it was called off, I remember it, remember it well, getting the call. I was, I was very disappointed that day in particular because that we were, we, we, we had the semi-final overs and we got the one over Gidor and we were in a very good spot there heading into the, the final and obviously there was a delay already but we were really looking forward to it and all geared up for it and it was obviously obviously very very disappointing that time that the final wasn't played especially I think it was about five days out from it yeah I know hearing from Mark McHugh earlier in the week he said at times it was difficult uh, to keep the motivation at, at a level re- required how did you manage the players and trying to keep them motivated John? Well I, I think you had to just manage the situation as you see in the time wise and what was happening around you and, and maybe being able to give them um, a bit of leeway when you thought it was able to give it to them and get them some downtime and, and bring it back when you needed to bring it back. And I think we, we managed that well. Um, and from, from the players' point of view, I think we got a great response in that way too. Yeah. And listen, it was, a, I suppose, a fantastic outlet for players during a very difficult time in lockdown to stay focused on, on training and, uh, and particularly keeping themselves in shape for, for what was coming uh, down the line. And have you had any sort of issues during that time with players? Obviously, a couple of men still out injured uh, ahead of the final, like Brian O'Donnell and uh, uh, Aidan's also out, Aidan McGinley. Yeah, I am. Um, Brian O'Donnell's injury came from uh, St. Michael's in the quarterfinal last year. In the first half, he, he'd done the cruciate. Um, so he he's out since, really. And he's coming on good, but he's just not. He's just short time, just maybe a month off it at the minute. Um, but his recovery is going well. And with Aidan McGinley, it was something that happened him this year. Um, he had come back from one and he'd, uh, he'd done it again there um, in, I think it's about in June there. So yeah. unfortunately, that was unfortunate for him. It's a horrible injury for any player. So, I mean, there are two long-term absentees, but we're hoping Brian O'Donnell may feature, you know, in the 2021 championship. Yeah. And as for the county men, they all came back, of course, in recent weeks as well, which I'm sure added a... An extra bit of sharpness did it to training, John? Uh, great to have them back. It's, uh, it really is. The boys look forward to having them back. The, well, training is always good uh, all the time, but uh, when you have them guys back and the level that they bring at training, and uh, I think everybody just ups the training, having them all back, and we're all delighted to have them back, and they were delighted to be back themselves and really been working on things this past few weeks, and training has been very good. Yeah. Is there a county final feel around the parish this week? Um, because well, everybody's been waiting so long so they have John is that proper county final feeling there? Without a doubt uh, you can feel it there with uh, the uh, everybody's talking about it now it's, it's on everybody's lips and the town is um, you know the bump things up the flags are going up everywhere every day there's new flags going up there's a real excitement and buzz about it at the minute I, I can see the people are really looking forward to it um, unfortunately probably the tickets is probably a bit of a downturn but you, you only have 225 tickets, which leaves a lot of people maybe unable to go to the match. I think that's a bit disappointing. But other than that, the feeling is, is, is really, really good. Yeah. Will the actual occasion have the feel of a county final, given there's only going to be 500 there and it's a different sort of situation and, and, and scenario at play here? Um, will the actual day and the occasion have a county final feel, do you expect, John? Well, I do expect it because I, I think that's the feeling that you bring yourself. Um, to it um, as a team we're, we're preparing for it so it's a county final we're preparing for it and every way we do that uh, that's for Saturday evening at 8 o'clock and when that throw ball's thrown in we have no doubt that that's the way we'll be feeling we won that game and that's a county title match and that's that's our aim and so definitely uh, Oshin, we will have that feeling with it that night yeah. I suppose the fact that you boys have been involved 
in previous recent county finals, 2017 when you won it, and then lost in 2016 to to, to Glen Swilly. I suppose that having the, the the big occasion that the guys aren't going to get, um, I suppose, uh, laid with that, then it's not going to be an overwhelming factor, is it, John? I, I, I don't think so. I think, we, we, as you say, we have that experience from boys in the past, and then the young lads are in there, the, the lads that have that experience are able to chat to them and talk to them about it. And again, it comes down to how you perform on the day, Oshin. And I think some sometimes you know, people maybe put that into perspective that boys sometimes don't react in a county final well. Some people do. And but I would hope I would like to think that all our boys will be well prepared for, for Saturday. Yeah. What kind of game are you expecting? Um, if we look at previous matches between between you you two guys, Neve Connell and, and Kilcar, there's been a couple of really tight, touchy affairs. So they had what sort of what are you expecting this weekend, John? I think as any final goes, it's it's going to be uh, very competitive. I expect a very competitive game with Glenn, with Neil Connell. I think there we're two teams that are are well met in a lot of ways, um, and I think we're, we're going to have a I expect to have a very good match, and I'm really looking forward to it. Actually, yeah, is it going to be blistering stuff from the from the get go? That'll be interesting to see. Yeah. And we just have to wait and see with that. You're not going um, to get, so you're not going to get too much away, John, are you? <laughs> what What about Neve Connell then? Um, because they basically have played four finals in the space of of two years. Because they had the the marathon three series decider against against Kador. and given that they went through that period, John, and that they've come through the the league so successfully as well uh, in the build up to the championship, would they be seen as favourites? Would they? Obviously, coming as, as county champions from, from 2019, and, and, and as you say, that Marathon Fair, they would be seen as obviously the champions. So they would be they would be favourites from, from the off on that. Um, and again, I mean, they won the league as well this year. So they, they've been going very well. I mean, we know that. Um, so definitely they'll be favourites for, for that final at the moment. But sure, that's it. Again, I think that's fine. But we, you have to perform on the day, and that's what we'll be looking at. Yeah, what would it mean then to the to the men from Tony to to lift another Doctor Maguire, John, and particularly under under your management? Um, I think any day you would lift the Doctor Maguire and Kilkiar, it means absolutely everything to everybody, uh, from the old and the young, your your supporters, so everybody. It's the players, obviously, means everything to the management. Totally would, um, but I think for a whole parish point of view, you know, as as, as sport goes, uh, the GA being the main the main sport in the, in the parish and how well it's supported. And uh, I just think everybody, it means everything to them. Yeah. And I suppose the fact that neither of you guys have played at a um, fixture at championship level in so long, John, uh, I know we said that we indicated the Neve Connell could possibly be favourites here. Has, has the playing ground been uh, levelled somewhat since neither of you, your sides have actually played a real intense championship game in such a long period of time? No, no, well, that's an interesting question. I mean, it's hard to know how that's going to play out until we actually that ball's thrown in, and, and until we see maybe you say the first quarter or first half of that match how it's going. Do you see how we're how we're equipped? But I, but I think with with both squads, the, the the players that's involved, I think they'll they'll get to that level pretty quickly when the ball's thrown. Okay. Listen, John, many thanks for talking to us ahead of the the county final this coming weekend, and uh, we wish you the best of luck in the game. Thank you very much, Josie. Thank you.